welcome to this snappy and uh, hopefully short quest guide to the new quest, the birthright of the dwarves. I think it's the grandmaster quest. You can see the requirements uh, on screen now, and uh, obviously don't do it if you don't have the requirements. Let's get started. Okay, so to start the quest, you simply go talk to King Velderman at the top of Keldegrim Palace. You can get there uh, by using the mining cart at the northwest of G. Anyway, you talk to him. He start the quest, and then he has. He wants you to do three things. First thing is you integrate, interrogate three suspected Red Axe collaborators. So all you have to do is go to the west of the Keldegrim area and then there's a door. You go in, you talk to the lieutenant and then she'll tell you what to do. And then what you do, you talk to each of the four people in turn, go through all the options. And uh, once you've done that, you will discover that uh, Grunt, the person called Grunt is a spy and you can choose what to do with them. Uh, there's also, you have to uh, let two of them go and two of them are spies. The second person uh, called Class is, uh, says someone will vouch for him. So go to the pub on the east side, uh, just to the east of the entrance he just went into. Talk to the person called Meike and she will say that uh, he's not a spy. So you can let him go. And then finally, uh, the guy called Vigor, you go to his shop on the northwest of the Keldrum Palace ground floor, search the stuff there, and then you'll find something that proves he's a spy. So you've got the two people who are spies, Vigor and Grunt, and two people who, you, who aren't, Class and the other guy, Brunt, I think. Uh, so you've done that, you can go back to the kink um, and move on to the next one. Okay, for the next one, you need to go to Tavoli Dungeon, which is just south of Tavoli. You enter the dungeon and then you can use the shortcuts to the east uh, to go to the blue dragons and just east of the blue dragons you'll I think you need dusty key I'm not sure you probably don't need the dusty key actually. Uh, once you go there you'll find a ton of chaos dwarves if you kill three you'll be approached by someone called Ikadia the exile. Speak to her and then she'll ask her ask you to meet her at the northeast of the dungeon so go there meet her she wants you to fight so uh, I suggest you bring some decent armor and weapons she's not really that hard. She's got about less than 10 khp and she uses mage. Anyway, uh, after you defeat her, she'll tell you some secrets and then you can decide whether to kill her or spare her life. Either way is fine. Okay, for the final part, you will need to go to the northwest of Yano. Just outside, actually, there's a shortcut there. You'd go to the watchtower, go to the top floor, talk to the wizard uh, who is labelled because of the quest. And then he'll give you a wand to do some anti-memory magic or something. Uh, all you have to do is use the wand in the memory on the beer and uh, kebabs. You'll get some floating thingies. Collect them. They keep floating around, so just click on them. Collect all of them. You should have three of each of uh, three of each color. There'll be four different colors. What you have to do is uh, use the when you click on the memory void. You'll have something pop up. Uh, one of them says, for example, what would a gnome be doing here? And there's another one that says. It's not natural for a dwarf to look like that. What you have to do is match the yellow one with the what would a gnome be doing here. And the blue one with I wonder where he got that scar. The red one with walking stick. Uh, and the white one with it's not natural for a dwarf to look like that. And you'll be done. There'll be a cutscene. And uh, that'll be the end of that. And just return to Valdeban in Caldegrim after that. Or you can exit the area using the portal. And if you use the wrong fragment on any of the voids then you have to start all over again in collecting all the different fragments so just be aware of that if you follow what i just said then you shouldn't go wrong okay now you can report all the three tasks because you've completed them to go back to valdeban and report them and uh, now you have to prepare for a battle but you don't have to bank there'll be a bank where you go but if you want you can just bank what you basically do is walk south of the palace on the west side of keldegrim so you go south and then there's a set of double doors, you pass them and then uh, there's if you go south a bit more there's a guy who will cross you over to the other side using a ferry. You cross over and then just go southeast and you'll find an entrance to the Barrender Caves. We should have gone through the caves in previous quests. Uh, so basically you just go in and then there'll be a set of, there's, there'll be a long tunnel, you just go to the end of the tunnel and then go in. And then you talk to Valdeban uh, and then talk to Nilodian and then you can uh, you can gear up with the person called the quartermaster if you want just there and then start the multi cannon to start the battle I advise you have uh, high defense gear and high HP gear and also 
bring a shield so that you can use resonance to heal up and bring a lot of food as well so basically once you go in you have to avoid the cannon fire which will constantly hit you the best way to do this is hide behind the rocks but uh, it's also better to just plow through it faster and faster so you go west and then there's, there'll be a pillar when the can just stand behind the pillar so that the cannon fire hits the pillar and then the pillar will fall over to form a bridge you can go across the bridge and then there'll be a set of cannons on the middle sort of um, middle sort of island so do the same thing hide behind the rocks uh, eat up if needed uh, the cannons protect range by the way because otherwise they hit a lot protect range and then use resonance to heal up from the cannon fire if you want uh, just quickly uh, click on the cannon so that you put the explosive on them and then run away as soon as you do that so they'll explode and break up and then and then do that to all the cannons on the way all the way to the east and then there'll be another pillar uh, which you can use the cannon uh, fire again like you did for the first pillar to break and then cross cross it so break that cross it there'll be a couple of cannons on the uh, west as well break them up and then go up the sort of platform there'll be Valdeban talk to him and uh, he'll jump over the cart first pull the lever on top of that platform and uh, and then you'll get a minecart which you can jump and join the join Valdeban and uh, Grimson over to the next area but just make sure like uh, you know where to come because it's quite easy to die in this area so if you do die don't worry your grave will spawn just in the caves you went through to get to this area so just get there as quickly as possible to loot your stuff and uh, just use resonance it really helps so that's about the advice I can give you guys it's not too hard a couple of tries maybe maybe even one try and then you'll get past it okay after a cutscene and a bit of dialogue you will do the thing where you have to match up the memories to the void and stuff again so basically once you get into that memory use the wand on the uh, on the red axe standard the chaos dwarf and the zamorakian chaplain to reveal the memory voids catch the nine moving fragments so three of each color use the white one on the void called gothix won't help us now use the yellow one on the one called he doesn't want to be here and use the blue one on the one called eight colored segments on a flag uh, after that you will leave the memory you need to repair one of Grimson's memory so use the wand on the troll leader dwarf burn and the small troll who's help helping him fight Grimson you repeat the same process this time you'll have 12 fragments um, and you'll have six of each obviously so use the blue one on the void called he doesn't want to be here and use the white one on the one called broken rocks okay so the next use of this magic is pretty simple you just use the wand on Zamorak after a short cutscene and then uh, you'll get six fragments you just use them on Zamorak again and uh, you have the final memory which is a bit more tricky what uh, what you basically need to do is collect all the fragments again after using the wand on the uh, old dwarf the grumpy dwarf and the beardless dwarf uh, but this time before you collect all the fragments you have to only collect the ones that are not dangerous so sometimes the uh, ogre will turn one of them dangerous uh, randomly so if you click them after they're dangerous they will reset so you have to collect all of them again so just wait and collect the ones that are not dangerous one by one until you get nine of them and then match up the yellow one with the what would the gnome be doing here void uh, the blue one with the I wonder where he got that scar and the uh, red one with the walking stick one and uh, that's that's all the memories done for the quest yay and uh, you can confront Grun Grunch had uh, the ogre you can choose whether to kill him or spare him okay you're at the very last section of the guide you really want to get up some really good damage gear and also a lot of food and a lot of defense gear as well and uh, get overloads and things like that so basically you need to head out of the base using the eastern doorway which you can squeeze through some obstacles and then it's pretty easy to get there and then you will go to the main area where you have the palace so enter the palace like normal but this time there'll be nothing around it so enter the palace go up the first floor now you can't go up to the second floor unless uh, you talk to one of the red axe directors uh, there'll be a guard by the way blocking your way so you have to talk to one of the red axe directors and tell them that your friend would like to join the red axe and then kill every other one except that one every other red axe director there are seven of them and once you've done that you'll be able to go upstairs now uh, the first boss is Grimson 
Well, basically what you do is you protect Veldaban because if Veldaban dies you, you fail so you have to do it again. Uh, you protect Veldaban, what you basically have to do is do as much damage on Grimson as possible. Grimson will be like a normal player. Um, you need to have insight on and also prevent Grimson from attacking Veldaban by using the provoke ability. If he is berserked, you'll have it. She'll have an Adrian bar as well. If he's berserked, he won't switch targets, so you can't use provoke. So make sure to uh, have him on you before he uses berserk. Like uh, we can use berserk. Uh, he will deal double melee damage and stuff like normal uh, things to do with berserk. Uh, you need to keep Valdeban alive. Just attack Grimson. It's not too bad, and kill him as soon as possible. Uh, you can also he can also grab Valdeban. Um, and throw him at you so uh, you need to make sure that uh, your HP is high and if he if he's holding Veldaban then when you attack Grimson you'll attack Veldaban too so you want to go behind and attack him from behind otherwise you'll hurt Veldaban and kill him yourself anyway once you've done that you'll need to defy, defeat both Hraidmar and Ve uh, Grimson in t uh, who, will, who have turned into great chaos wolves uh, this time you'll fight alone without the help of Veldaban and uh, it'll be a lot harder because Hraidmar will summon some Chaos Wolf. So the main tactic is attack Hraidmar mainly. Um, he'll Sometimes he'll summon um, some Chaos Dwarves and Chaos Dwarf Cannoneers and, in, and he'll have this uh, special ability which will heal himself and everyone else in the room except you and uh, you have to attack him uh, and deal as much damage to him as possible before he does this otherwise he will heal and if you do it he will stop the attack but sometimes he will also uh, swap himself with the Chaos Dwarf in the room so you'll need to retarget Hraidmar and then continue attacking him and uh, he will call upon these Chaos Dwarves and Chaos Dwarf Cannoneers sometimes they'll explode so they'll flash before exploding so when they start to flash you want to go away from them now Chaos Grimson you have to keep watching him even while they're fighting Hraidmar uh, because he has the same moves as before and also some extra he can hold and throw Chaos Dwarves at you and they'll hurt you quite a bit and he'll also charge you with, from which you'll take a lot of damage uh, you can stop this attack by just attacking Grimson try to use the pillars around the room to your advantage by going behind them and stuff uh, and try to save up food by using defensive abilities if you have a shield but I would advise just to go all out on Chaos Grimson. Now you want to keep moving because uh, these enforcements will all fire at you simultaneously and they'll do some typeless damage as well if you stay at the same spot so just keep running around uh, and kill Hraidmar first like I said because he can heal and then kill Grimson, you should be fine, it'll take a couple of tries maybe just to get the tactic perfect but once you've done that, that's the quest done um, you you have to talk to Veldaban, uh, he'll ask that you kill him uh, choose whether to kill him or not, uh, it doesn't really matter but if you choose the second option it'll take a few tries but eventually he'll shake it off and turn to his old self uh, when it's all over you'll go back to the Keldrin Palace and uh, yeah, you'll just you'll just have to go through some talk and then you'll finish the quest and you'll get 400k XP you'll get a ton of XP actually uh, you get 200k strength XP, 100k smithy XP, 100k mining XP and also some uh, some new dragon item uh, access to some new dragon items and some cool stuff so yeah quest complete guys thanks for watching thanks a lot for watching hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later mm -hmm.